second. New Apple Watch? Here's how to pair it with your iPhone. Before we get your watch set up, make sure your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS, is connected to Wi-Fi, and has Bluetooth turned on. You'll also need to keep your iPhone and your Apple Watch close to each other during the entire setup process. Depending on your Apple Watch model and iPhone settings, your setup process might vary a bit. All right, let's get started. To turn on your Apple Watch, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. When your Apple Watch and iPhone are close together, a message will pop up on your iPhone, prompting you to start the pairing process. Tap Continue on your iPhone to start pairing. If you don't see this message, open the Apple Watch app and tap Start Pairing. Next, hold your iPhone over the animation on your watch and center the watch face in the viewfinder. Wait for a message saying your Apple Watch is paired. Now you're ready to select your preferences. On your iPhone, tap Set Up Apple Watch. Then, choose which wrist to wear your Apple Watch on. If you agree to the terms and conditions, tap Agree. Now choose whether you want your Apple Watch to track your workout route and have access to weather reports. This uses location services. On the next screen, you'll see which settings your iPhone shares with your Apple Watch. Now choose whether you want to create a passcode. You'll need a passcode for features like Apple Pay. Next, you'll learn about the heart health features on Apple Watch. Your watch can notify you if it detects a resting heart rate that's below normal or higher than usual. If you already have Apple Pay set up on your iPhone, you'll need to re-enter your security information here by tapping Continue. To set up Apple Pay later, tap Set Up Later in the Apple Watch app. Next, you'll see some information about Emergency SOS. This feature is ready to go by default. If you ever need to use it, just press and hold the side button to automatically contact your local emergency services. If you have an Apple Watch Series 4, your watch can call emergency services automatically if it detects a hard fall. You'll find more information about fall detection here on the Emergency SOS screen. Now tap Continue. If you have a cellular Apple Watch, you can set up your cellular settings here. Then you'll choose which apps to sync from your iPhone to your watch. Tap Install All to sync all of the iPhone apps that are compatible with your Apple Watch. Or tap Choose Later to sync only basic information like mail, contacts, and messages. Now just wait for your iPhone and Apple Watch to sync. Depending on the amount of data you're syncing, this might take a little while. When it's finished, you'll hear a chime, or if you put your Apple Watch on, you'll feel a gentle tap, and then you're good to go.